The NFL is on EA Sports, and we are in Silicon Valley at Levi Stadium in Santa Clara. Coming up, we got a good matchup on tap here, as it'll be the Baltimore Ravens taking on the San Francisco 49ers. It's a rematch of Super Bowl 47 minus one Harbaugh. The Ravens and 49ers are underway. And he opts to not bring this one out. The first drive will start at the 25. Start on the ground with McCaffrey. They'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. They'll come up now second and four from the 31. Here's McCaffrey. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. On first down, this is McCaffrey. And he's dropped right at the 40. Gain of three. Ball on the 40 now. Here's second down and seven. They'll run with McCaffrey. And only a couple for him there as the tackle is made at the 42. Here is third and five. Here's Purdy. but he missed him and it's incomplete well, I like the calmness of how he played the ball here no panic in his eyes as that throw arrived tracked it from the moment it left the quarterback's hand and that's just where he needed to be to knock it away Purdy on fourth down and it's incomplete they cannot convert and they turn it over a surprising move here on the opening drive of the game. And this defense holds on the night's opening drive. Jackson on first down. And the Niners get there and bring him down. No surprise there, Chase Young wrecks that play with a sack. It may be cliche, but it is something that holds up over time, doesn't it? If you're the visitors, you don't want to let the crowd in the game early. Yeah, and that's exactly what they did there. But you said also this defense, they're going to give them a lot of looks like we just saw there, aren't they? They certainly are. They're a proud unit, and they're going to ride the momentum of this crowd with them, and that's why they got after them early. Play action. It's Jackson. That ball caught. It's Mark Andrews, the tight end. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. Good work after the catch. Going to net him 23 and a first. First carry now for Justice Hill. And nowhere to run on the interior of that defensive line. He'll get back only to the line of scrimmage. Here's second and 10. Now it's Jackson. He's got the hook up to Odell Beckham. And in for the Ravens touchdown. Odell Beckham, 32 yards. And the Ravens will claim the early lead as they're on the board first here tonight. Justin Tucker for the extra point. And 
and the Ravens lead at 7 0. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. Yeah, some might have returned that one. He won't. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start the drive from the 25. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. Charles, we know that this offense is aggressive. We saw that last drive. They went for it on fourth down, didn't get it. Then they give up the touchdown, so now you feel like they really need to respond here. They certainly do, but let's face it. Sometimes when you take that risk, you understand if you fail, a little more onus goes back on your ball club to try to pick themselves back up. Ball on the 30. They'll come up with a second and five. Purdy looking to throw. Eluding the pressure, and he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Tough spot here, third down and 11. A five-yard loss on the play. It's now third and... Throwing here, Purdy. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. Two drives won't tell the story of this game, but you absolutely have to like how this defense has played thus far. They have yet to allow this offense to get untracked in this one. Now, remember, they were unsuccessful earlier in this first quarter. Going for it on fourth. They're going to try a second time. They'll go for it. Here's Purdy. And that is incomplete, but a penalty flag coming in. This could be a first down. So a big chunk of yardage will be marked off there for that P.I. call. And now you know why receivers and the guys throwing the ball they like to collaborate and just heave it up sometimes because you can get these types of calls that go against the defense. Pass interference, and they gain over 30 yards of real estate on that one. Purdy completes this one here to McCaffrey. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. He missed on his first three passes, was 0 for 3. Now gets a connection. Maybe that'll get him going. Yeah, it wasn't a time for panic, but there was some concern because once you start in a certain pattern, you're wondering, can you get out of it? And that flips the other way. Under pressure, and he'll go down. They'll sack him on what ought to be the final play of this first quarter. After 1-7-0 on EA Sports. The Ravens bring out an extra defensive back here on third. Purdy will set up to throw it here. That is caught, and he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. And they're able to convert on third with a solid gain of 23. So in Raven territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 38. In motion goes the tight end. Purdy to throw it on first down. And he's got McCaffrey open, complete. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. 11 more on that one, and another first down. Debo going in motion left. And he'll get it here on the touch pass. Just a simple tap pass, but it pays off in a big way. And sometimes the simple stuff causes the most problems for a defense because there's a breakdown in communication there. When that receiver goes behind the line of scrimmage and he looks like he's going in motion, someone either has to go with him or he has to be passed off to another defender. Somehow they didn't get that communicated well, and it turned into a nice play. Now they'll put a receiver in motion left. Now the Ravens going to use one of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter.
In motion is Gray. Mitchell will get into the end zone for a 49 touchdown. Jake Moody now for the point after. It's up and good, and we're tied at seven here in quarter number two. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. Fair catch going to be taken, and this will be moved out to the 25. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. A lot of time for this unit to game plan on the sideline after that drive that they watched the other side just score. But remember, last time they were out, taking it right down Broadway. Look at the big man rumble. And all the way in for a Ravens touchdown. Charlie Kohler, 75 yards. And the Ravens have taken the lead. I don't think you can get any more efficient or tidy, whatever word you want to use in that, man. One play, 75 yards, end zone. Yeah, efficient, tidy, excellent words. How about explosive? 75 yards, one play. That means everyone handled their assignment, doesn't it? It doesn't just mean that the defense broke down. They really executed the way that was drawn up on the whiteboard. Big time play, big time result. Tucker able to connect on the extra point, and that makes the score 14 to 7. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And this will be a touchback, so they'll bring it out to the 25. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. And they'll be looking to build off of a nice drive last time, a drive that really relied on the quarterback. Making good decisions, distributing the ball well, distributing it accurately, keep, keeping it away from danger. A really nicely run drive. But now the defense, what adjustments do they need to make in the passing game? Pass rush, pass rush, pass rush. Whether it's the guys up front, or maybe you bring additional guys, but you've got to disrupt the timing of them throwing the ball. We'll see if they can disrupt it here. The 49ers now going to use the first of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. McCaffrey on the counter. Nothing doing. Barely able to muster a yard to hit the 35. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. Now second and nine. Birdie off the play fake. Now he's flushed out right. And he'll cross over out of bounds right at the 25. Give him 10 that time, escaping the danger, running with it, and picking up a first down. We've hit the two-minute mark of the second quarter, 14 to 7. Samuel in motion. They'll get it forward to him on the touch pass. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and ten coming up. Now a second and ten. From the shotgun to McCaffrey. They get him to the ground right on the cusp of the red zone after a pickup of five or six. I think we can safely say that those types of players are the backbone of this offense. We know not every run's going to be a big hitter, but you know they'll take that type of result on each and every attempt. Purdy now to throw. And that is incomplete. Oh, he had a defender right there with him to force that to the ground. And fourth down now coming up. 
And no move to get the offense off the field. They're going on fourth and five. Now Purdy. Work in the middle of the field. He's got a man to play. And the Niners are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. The Ravens going to use the second of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. A chance now to get even before the break as they come up first and goal. They'll try and power it in with Huszczyk. And across the goal line into the end zone. Touchdown for the Niners. Kyle Huszczyk taking it in from two yards out. And the Niners are an extra point away from tying the ball game here in the final minute of the first half. An extra point try now for Moody. And we've got a good one brewing. We're all knotted up at 14. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. And he'll elect not to run with it. And a fair catch on the kickoff will move the ball to the 25. The Baltimore offense at the line set to get going. And with a little under a minute to play, they may be looking to pick up some yardage here, maybe try and come up with a field goal to seize the lead before intermission. Now a nice play defensively on first down as this is knocked away and incomplete. Anytime a ball's thrown in the middle of the field and popped up in the air, I expect someone to catch. It doesn't matter whether it's offense or defense because there's usually a great amount of bodies in that part of the field. In this case, no one came up with it. Now Jackson on second down. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. My first thought is surprise because that's one of the better tight ends around. And I've seen him pull in balls like this before. But how about a little credit to the defense forcing that incompletion? Dobbins, here's Jackson. Now San Francisco going to call their second timeout as the clock stops here with 46 seconds remaining in the first half. We've watched this a long time, and I still don't believe we get it. Third and long, why are you calling play action? Because yeah, they're not going to bite defensively, right? No, not at all. I did have a coach explain to me years ago that for some teams, that's how they have to deal with pass protection and their line blocking, but to me it seems silly. Yeah, well, there. And he's brought down. Can't do anything with a football. It's a sack. And a turnover on downs. Boy, a real head scratcher there. And now the football is going to go over, already being placed at the 15-yard line. They go play action here, Purdy. And he takes a shot on the release, as this will be incomplete. And to put it mildly, this is a tough spot defensively. They have to come right back out and defend their red zone. But how about that good first step towards forcing them to settle for at least three points? I think they're also thinking bigger right now. Imagine being able to stop them totally and change the momentum. Now a second down throw for the end zone, but it's incomplete. Well, they approached this drive with a lot of confidence after their last one ended up as a touchdown. But incompletions on their first two throws has them huddling up and trying to figure out a big play here on third down to get their momentum going again. Here's Purdy now on third and goal. will take the lead here in the final minute of the first half. Moody good with the extra point. And the lead is now 21-14. Here is Wisnowski to boot it away following the touchdown. This will be taken in just shy of the goal line. Fair catch will move this out to the 25. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. 
with his slim deficit closing in on the end of the first half. We'll see if they can move this at least into field goal range and try to get three out of this drive. Ravens going to use their third and final timeout as they'll stop it with 27 seconds remaining here in the second quarter. Now, after the loss, he'll have to navigate a second and 17. Jackson now. That's complete. It's Zay Flowers with it. Now inside the 25. And all the way in for a Ravens touchdown. Zay Flowers as the first half is winding down. And the Ravens have a chance to tie the game here in the final seconds of the half. Tucker now to add the point after. He's got it, and we're all tied at 21. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. They'll elect to bring it out here from the end zone. And he's only going to make it to the 13-yard line and no further. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. And the ball backed way up. So thinking with this amount of time on the clock, probably just sit on it, and we'll see these two teams go to the lockers. Yeah, I don't think you want to overthink it in this situation. Either side of the ball, just go ahead and finish up the half and get on out and talk about it. They certainly thought he had an open look beyond the first down marker to his receiver, but they just couldn't connect, and that will send them back to the drawing board. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Back to throw, Purdy. And he will find his man, Samuel. Now whistles and a timeout with three seconds left in the first half. Final play of the half, Purdy. And this one is incomplete. That's it for the first half. Two more quarters to go. We'll have plenty more to see after the break. Welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. Party started for the second half. It was an even first half, all tied on the scoreboard. 
And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped it to 23-yard line. The Baltimore offense at the line set to get going. This offense ready for the first drive of the third quarter. Well, quarters number one and two entertaining. We saw some good offense points put up, Charles, and all tied on the scoreboard. And it sets us up for what could be a really fun second half because we've seen both sides score almost at will here in the first half. And now, here in the second half, getting the ball first, you've got to think, hey, we can go out and really run our offense the way we did in the first half. But if I'm a defensive player, all I'm thinking is, can I make a play? to really help out my team and break this streak of offense. It's a six-yard pickup, and it gets him to second and four. They'll go again with Dobbins. Look at this! Mel on the field, a breakaway! And some solid footwork there as he'll take this down to about the 38. The Ravens get a new set of downs, give them 17 on that pickup. Most of their damage has been done through the air. I mean, they've rung the bell three times with passing touchdowns, but guess what? Ground game has not been neglected. Nice little burst right there. So from inside Niner territory now, this is first and 10 at the 38. Jackson on the give to Dobbins. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. And he'll follow his blockers there all the way down to the 23-yard line. It's a pickup of 11 at a Baltimore first down. And while we're seeing more and more of these plays come from the college game into the NFL, and that one, it was run with great success, how about the evolution of the offensive linemen? We're seeing less and less big guys who can't move, and more and more guys who are a lot more mobile and can get out in front of that type of a play. A gain of three, second down. And now Jackson will look to throw it. Flush to his right. And he'll just get rid of it. And in the second half of the time of game, every decision gets magnified. And here, if he forces this ball, it could be intercepted. So that's the prudent play to just airmail it out of bounds. On third down, Jackson. Throwing out left and finding likely. And able to get this down inside the 15, either the 13 or 14, before he's out of bounds. Call it a gain of six on the play. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. To throw is Jackson. That's to his running back, complete. And he's down inside the five at the four before he's out of bounds. Some collective exhales over there on the sideline. A big pickup through the air on fourth down to bring up first and goal. Dobbins is going to go backwards. He'll lose yardage back to the five. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. Sometimes you just sit back and marvel at what he can do defensively. Speed, strength, quickness. He's the whole package, and that package just wrapped up the runner for a loss. Now Jackson. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. Well, Brandon, we see why it's a team game there because there's a sigh of relief that they just released defensively. If he's able to get that one away, that's likely a touchdown. But instead, that pressure from the front got to him and forced the incompletion. You're right. He had him open just a split second too late on the release. Third and goal, Jackson. His pass caught at the four. And in for the Ravens touchdown. Odell Beckham. Two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And the Ravens have taken the lead as they go right down the field and score on the opening drive of the second half. 
Now Tucker to add the PAT. Oh, and now they're going to fake it. And this fake extra point attempt failed big time. Not only did they not get it, they went backwards. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And no effort to bring this one out. It's a touchback. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. And Charles, it feels like we're set up for a good second half here. Came out of the locker room, one score game. Now the lead has already changed hands. Well, this offense, they've got an opportunity right now to take that lead right back. Yeah, and it feels like you're going back and forth, almost a little bit like a tennis match, right? And we're just, you know, our heads just keep moving. Which side has it? Which side's going to score? How are they going to go out doing it? A little bit of a challenge for each side trying to match each other. And he'll be out right at the 35. The Niners have the first down on a gain of 11. Well, they certainly had success throughout this contest, getting him the ball in the passing game, and there he picks up another first down. Whatever they saw going into this one, they've been able to capitalize on it, and no adjustment has been made to take it away. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Out of the gun, Purdy. Connects with Kittle underneath. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Brandon, perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion that would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync stayed in great communication and as he dragged across each zone you see him turning communicating there he is and they passed him up to each defender ended up making a nice play even though it was complete and McCaffrey going to pick up a Niners first down as he'll get this up to midfield from the midfield stripe they'll look to throw and that one into the hands of IU downfield. Touchdown, Fires! Brandon IU, his second touchdown of the night. And the 49ers are an extra point away from taking the lead here in the fourth. A very important extra point there, up and good. And they have taken the lead here in this fourth quarter. And that flag accepted. Another extra point opportunity here. And they have taken the lead here in this fourth quarter. Here is Wisnowski to boot it away following the touchdown. Hill going to think better of bringing this one out, and the drive will start at the 25. Jackson and the Ravens come up now first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. He'll swing this out to Dobbins. And he is going to lose yardage here. He was unable to shake free there. They'll cover him for a loss of a yard. Ball at the 24 and a second and 11. Throwing is Jackson. Targeting Dobbins again, and he's got it again. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. 19 yards there on the catch and run. First and ten, it's Dobbins. He'll work his way up the middle for a gain of about four and second down. The 49ers now are going to use the first of their timeouts. 
It's just their first. They'll be down to two remaining as we step aside here in the fourth quarter. Now it's Jackson. And down he goes. The 49ers get there. They overload him that time with a safety blitz, and he winds up being dropped for a loss of seven. This crowd turning up the decibel level. It's third and long. From the gun, it's Jackson. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And this will move the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the 49ers' 34-yard line. Throw on first down with Jackson. Escaping the pressure right. Nothing open downfield, so he'll throw it away. Ooh, that's certainly not the worst thing. It stops the clock and lets your offense catch its breath and lets us exhale a little bit. Now I expect them to call a couple plays in the huddle, so they're ready if a tackle happens inbounds. Jackson. A short throw caught by Andrews. And he is going to get out of bounds with the first down. So that's going to double their pleasure for sure. They get the first and save a timeout. And for Jackson, this may be a free play. Out to his left. And out of bounds right around the 20. Well, we looked at each other right when he flinched. We knew that that flag was coming. Yeah, offsides, easy call. Mark off the five and keep it moving. So after the penalty, a break. First and five. Jackson. Oh, and that's going to sabotage their comeback plans. It is 